Good morning, friends. Welcome to Sunday School on this rally day. So I just, I want to let everybody out in Facebook land know that we have four friends with us here at the church. And so I am super excited to have everybody here. Oh, okay. oh Sophie, I can't see you behind my little thing here. I'm going to move that out of the way because we don't need that yet anyway. So we are here for our first day of Sunday school. Yay! Let me hear you. Yay! How about you guys on Facebook? Yay! So for everybody who's here on Facebook, make sure you comment that you're joining us today because I want to make sure to give you credit for your attendance. Okay? Because I think what I want to do this year is I want to make sure to recognize you guys for your attendance and give you special prizes, special recognition. Because when you guys are here, that makes me feel really good because I work hard to make sure that you guys have fun and that you learn about Jesus and his love for you. Okay? All right. So, moms and dads, is everybody okay if I have my mask off while I'm talking? Okay. All right. So, this year, we're going to start a brand new curriculum. Do you guys know what the word curriculum means? No. So it's like the books we use, the, the literature that we use to um, study from. So all the lessons that I use to teach you guys come from what's called the curriculum. And that's the books and the materials that we use to teach everybody and so all these lessons are written I don't write them I don't have that gift um, I have gifts but that's not one of them so thankfully we have this curriculum that comes from a company called Cokesbury and they write a lot of really good curriculum for kids just like you and for educators and directors of Christian education and teachers, just like me, um, to be able to share the story of God's love for you and the story of Jesus Christ and how much he loved us. And he loved us so much that he gave up his life for us. What? Yes. Yes. And we're going to learn a lot about that. But today, um, we're going to talk about creation. So our word for this unit, and I want to put this so, so um, our Facebook friends can see it, but it says creativity. Our word for this unit is creativity, okay? I love creativity. I know, I love creativity too, Sophie. Do you guys love creativity on Facebook? Give me a thumbs up if you do. Yes? Me too. You what, Magnolia? Do you like it? So do you guys like to draw pictures? You made necklaces and bracelets, Sophia. Do you like to color? Yeah, last night I was coloring. Yeah, and that is all being creative. That's all part of being creative. So I know on Facebook, the way I have the, the phone positioned, you guys can't see the trees, but if you, I bet if you look out your window, you might be able to see some trees or some bushes. But if you look around outside, see all these trees and the bushes and the grass? Do you know who made all that? Jesus Christ? Close. A farmer? Oh, well, a farmer plants things, doesn't he? Or she? God made everything. God created the universe a long, long time ago. So our first story today I got to get my stuff open here oh I don't even have the right thing well I remember where it comes from I don't have it marked but I remember where it comes from I did my homework good job. I know thank you Sophia she said good job, good job. I'm kind of proud of myself too yeah. so it comes from the book of Genesis Genesis is the very first book of the Bible and it's in there's, there's two sections of the Bible, okay? I gotta keep my eye on the time. There's the Old Testament that talks about God and God's relationship with his people. 
And then there's the New Testament, and that's all about Jesus' birth, his life and his ministry and teaching, and then his death and resurrection, and then also the birth of the new the church, okay, through Paul and many of his disciples. So Genesis is in the Old Testament, okay? Okay. And it's the very first book of the Bible. And our story today comes from Genesis chapter 1. And it's verses 1 through 19. And I'm just going to read them quick for you. Okay? And if you have a Bible, if you guys want to bring your Bibles when you come to Sunday school or when you join us on Facebook Live, please do. And you can follow along with me. Okay? So chapter 1 is the big number. It's the big number one, okay? And the verses are the little numbers, and it's hard to see them, but it's the, the little tiny numbers are the verses, okay? And we'll review that, because it's important to learn how to do that stuff. Hello, Ava! I'm so glad you could join us. We have another friend joining us, everybody on Facebook. Yay! So we're just getting ready to read our Bible story, Ava. You haven't missed much except me yakking at everybody. So, world's creation in seven days. Genesis 1, 1 through 19. When God began to create the heavens and the earth, the earth was without shape or form. It was dark over the deep sea, and God's wind swept over the waters. God said, let there be light. And so light appeared. God saw how good the light was. God separated the light from the darkness. God named the light day and the darkness night. There was evening and there was morning, the first day. God said, let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate the waters from each other. God made the dome and separated the waters under the dome from the waters above the dome. And it happened in that way. God named the dome sky. There was evening and there was morning, the second day. God said, let the waters under the sky come together into one place so that the dry land can appear. And that's what happened. God named the dry land earth, and he named the gathered waters seas. God saw how good it was. God said, let the earth grow plant life. Plants yielding seeds and fruit trees bearing fruit with seeds inside it, each according to its kind throughout the earth. And that's what happened. The earth produced plant life, plants yielding seeds each according to its kind, and trees bearing fruit with seeds inside it, each according to its kind. God saw how good it was. There was evening and there was morning, the third day. God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night. They will mark events, sacred seasons, days, and years. They will be lights in the Dome, in the dome of the sky to shine on the earth. And that's what happened. God made the stars and two great lights, the larger light to rule over the day and the smaller light to rule over the night. God put them in the dome of the sky to shine on the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. There was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. And that ends the reading of our Bible story for today. So we only got up to four days. Does anybody remember here or on Facebook, does anybody remember um, how many days it took for God to create everything? Sophia? Okay, is this still working? Yes. It took, God took six days to create the earth and all the animals and the plants and men and women or man and woman that was Adam and Eve 
and then on the seventh day he rested and I think we'll probably talk about that next week but all this stuff is creation he was very creative I mean I I would have to say and I don't know about you guys on Facebook but I would have to say that God is probably the most creative being that there is I mean look at all the different types of trees all the different types of animals, all the different types of people. And he made all those different things exactly the way he wanted them to be. Did yes, Sophia? Us? Did he make the cement? He made people to know how to make the cement. Oh. So yeah. <laughs> So God gives us all gifts and abilities and talents and knowledge. And so really, he, he, give, he does help us to make those things. So you could say, yeah. So for those of you on Facebook who wonder what's going on behind me, our worship service starts at 10. So they're getting ready for that too. So hopefully it's not too distracting. Um, but we're just going to keep on keeping on because we've got seven minutes left in our Sunday school class. Right, guys? Right. So we're talking about creativity, and I hope you guys can see this. And it says here that creativity is the process of imagining and making something like God imagined and created the world. So God imagined what he wanted each thing to look like. He created it, and then he said, it is good. So nothing that God created was bad to him. Everything that he created, he said, it is good. So he created a dream? He creates, he created everything, Magnolia. He gives us... Bad dreams. Do you have bad dreams sometime? Well, you know what? God is with you even in the bad times. He is with you to give you comfort, to love you, and to protect you. Always. So, I have some stuff to give to you guys, and I'll give you when we're all done. But what I thought would be super fun is to give you guys the opportunity to create something today. And if you plan on staying for worship, this is something you guys can do during the worship time, too. So, I want you to pick out a section of sidewalk. And remember, we want you all to stay a little ways away from each other for everybody's safety. And everybody at home, you can also pick out a little section of um, sidewalk or part of your driveway. And I have some sidewalk chalk down here, and I'll just have you come up one at a time and get a couple of pieces. And you can always come back and trade and get different. And I might even have more inside I can go in and get two. Um, but we're going to use sidewalk chalk to create today. So imagine, like God imagined what he wanted. So imagine what you want to create and then just let yourself create whatever you want to create on the sidewalk. And then we'll take pictures of those and put those on our Facebook page to share with everybody who might not be able to be here today. And friends who are at home who are joining us on Facebook, I would absolutely love it if you would take pictures of your sidewalk creations and share them with us on our Facebook page as well um, so that we can share in your creativity. Because I know, I know I have some creative people watching on here right now. Okay? So what we're going to do, oh, and for our Facebook friends, the handouts, I'll take a picture of it and share it on our Facebook page so that you guys can get access to those too. And it's just a cutout thing. So you can print it and cut it out. It makes a little day night thing. Um, so we'll hand those out and you guys can come up and get your sidewalk chalk and then we'll be starting worship here in about 14 minutes. So um, everybody in Facebook, thank you so much for joining us. We're so glad to have you. Rally day, yay! Glad to have you back. Kids who are here, I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. And we are going to go ahead and end. Thanks, everybody.